the Moonshot event is officially live. At 40 total wins, you'll get that 97 overall diamond home run derby. Yoannis Cespedes, that's been in the game before. July is going to be the craziest month of content in Diamond Dynasty history. I said that in the last No Money Spent video. Make sure you go check that out. We debuted Kyle Schwarber on Legend. I'm going to break down the Moonshot event. We also have the new roster update where Ozzy Albies, Matt Barnes, and Joey Gallo went diamond. We got new Tops Now moments in the game. The first set of Tops Now moments for the month of July. There's a new player program, the 95 Cycle Billy Williams card that'll give you 35,000 XP in the fourth inning program. So again, another card that even if you're not going to use them, it's a ton. It will unlock so much free stuff. Grind out that Billy Williams. Remember to follow me on Instagram. I'm leaving for Colorado on Sunday. I'm going to be hanging out with Cougs, Fuzzy, Kyle, and Adam for a few days in Colorado. We're going to the Home Run Derby together. We got great seats. It's going to be a blast. We're all going to be vlogging. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, this roster update doesn't seem to be too crazy. Just the three diamonds went up, but Fernando Tatis Jr. got another offensive upgrade. Big negative 11 contact versus left, but he's up to a 94 overall now. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is up to a 90. He got another positive across the board to his hitting stats. Joey Gallo with a huge boost. He's been red hot. This guy had his OPS was below 750. It shot all the way up to 910 in just a matter of a few weeks. On an absolute tear now. If you would have told me two weeks ago he'd have almost 25 homers at the All-Star break, I would have laughed in your face. Joey Gallo hot streaks or something else, man. He's live series. is now a diamond. Ozzy Albies plus five, plus three, plus four was enough to get him up. Aroldis Chapman went from a diamond down to a gold. Makes him a budget baller in Battle Royale now that live series Chapman pops up. You can get him in a silver or gold round now. Oh, Bichette kind of flying under the radar this year with all the attention Vlad's getting. Rocking an 833 OPS, 296 average, 16 homers this year. He got a plus 16 to his contact versus left, plus four to his vision. He did get a drop, negative seven on his power versus left. But all in all, Bo goes up to an 83. And all in all, though, that seems to be the major upgrades. JD Martinez actually went down to an 81 overall. If you want to see the entire roster update and break down every single player that was changed, you can always do that from the main screen in the bottom right corner there with the inside edge and roster update tab. Now let's go into this moonshot event. I'm so pumped about this, man. You either love or hate this event. I personally love it. It is any hitter in the game against common pitchers on all-star difficulty locked in Coors Field. 99 overall cap, so you can use whomever you want against common pitchers Oh boy. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out the rewards for this event. Of course, there's packs and stubs that you can earn as you go through. At 20 wins, you're going to get Luis Campusano. Is that how? That's definitely not how it's pronounced. But 104 105 against lefties, 96 contact ready, ready with diamond defense. This is a very good looking catcher. You know, the more catchers, the merrier, man. I know we just got score bombs, but the more, the merrier. And then at 30 wins, we got Signature Series Zach Granke. OG Zach Greinke on the Royals. Five pitch mix, fastball slider, change up two seam curveball. That curveball's super slow. I'm curious how this card will play. And then at 40 wins is where you get this 97 home run derby. 112, 122 power. 102, 85 contact also will help with keeping that PCI large. 90 arm strength defensively. This card has been in Diamond Dynasty in years past. So if you're a rookie to Diamond Dynasty, this is not a new card. The community is familiar with this card and I can confirm he's going to hit bombs. And then after you play through, if you want to play past 40, they're giving you a ton of packs beyond. We got a 10 pack bundle, a kitchen sink, a five pack bundle, a kitchen sink, a five ball and bundle a 10 ball and bundle two headliners two headliners and then a 20 bundle at 100 should be a good time to get parallel and super fractor progress done on your best hitters so just some names bullpen wise that i'm going to be using wade davis 63 overall he has a cutter adam simber has a sinker and a very funky delivery might i add alex claudio another guy with a funky delivery primary sinker up there at the top uh this dude trevor hildenberger has a sinker at 88 and a 90 break on his rating, but for the most part, you're gonna really struggle to pitch in this one. Go into it expecting that. Cody Ross, or uh, Cody Reed, I'm sorry, a guy that has a 94 mile an hour sinker, you could try him. Lineup's gonna go Schwarber, catcher, Chipper Jones, Byron Buxton, I'm putting Buxton in a three hole because he's at like 8,800 on the XP and we gotta get him super fractor. Jason Dominguez, Troy Gloss, actually, yeah, let's do Troy Gloss, David Ortiz, Marcus Simeon, and Alfonso Soriano. All right, let's do it. I gotta get this video up tonight. Let's play some Moonshot. Dude just set his lineup for like an hour and a half. I was just sitting there listening to it. He's going to be pitching Johan Duran, okay, 
Only one super, or only one parallel four in his lineup. That's interesting. I see you. We are locked at cores for these games. And our first game of the Moonshot event. He's, oh no, he's 47 to 116. Did this man just lead? Did this man just lead off the game with a bunt in the Moonshot event? Takes off, Cena Company tried to bunt him over. It is the Moonshot event! Nice, got him one, two. Simber is so gross. Now, my controller is jacked right now. I really gotta buy a new one. I, I destroyed my Xbox controller. If you were there, you were there. Get through there, Byron. Face knock. What kind of route did he just take to that ball? Jason Dominguez! Holy upper take! The Moonshot event is upon us, 460 on our first. Troy! Oh boy. Oh, what's your favorite letter? E! Bang! Make it pay! Make him pay! Marcus Simeon into the night. We are rallying now. Alfonso! Perfect, but that's one of the farthest home runs I've ever hit, I think. That's halfway up the bleachers, deepest part of the park. 464, yikes. No way Adam Simber just got a knock. I forgot to pinch hit and he ripped it through the left side. There's no way Kyle, yo Kyle Swarmer made two out of three outs that inning. <laughs> just trying to doubt. Got one down and in on him. Takes off. Perfect throw. Snatchies. Oh, he just beat it. Just missed. There's a walk. It's two on for Lou Gehrig here. A double steal. He tried to bunt them, by the way. He's down by six, and he's just trying to get a runner in scoring position. Just, what? He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And they can't even get one on the play as the squeeze works to perfection that time. What is happening? Here's the first pitch. Swing in the line drive. And I thought ball. this was the moonshot event. Already home here. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. He just left his starter in and bunted with him. Oh boy. That is a totally in off the barrel two run bomb for Byron Buxton. Yeesh. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of power. Get up, Marcus Simeon again. That one's going to get out quick. It is 10 to 3, baby. Let's go. These are bombs, too. Get him, please! This guy! Small balling me to death! Okay, come on. What is it with the per the literal perfect bunts, though? They're every one of them have been perfect. Even from the pitcher. This guy's gotta be done. Get this man out of here. What is happening? They both missed the tag! And Grady Sizemore misses a hanger to end the game. We win it 10 to three. Let's play one more. On the road. He's got score bombs leading off and plenty of parallel fours. I love to see that. We actually got somebody grind him for once. He's got a Phillies logo as his team logo too. Shout out to the Phillies fan. He's 56 and 17. Oh baby. So we got a much better opponent. This is gonna be a complete 180 in competition. To have some fun and hit some more dingers. Out and all over that cutter, we were out in front and he rolls it into the shift. Chip first! On the board first! One zip! Box! Oh! <laughs> it's the second cutter we were all on. Timing's just off with that thing. 
So almost a 10 mile hour difference between his heater and his cutter. It's pretty tough for a comma, but there's our second bomb. We're turning on these inside heaters, baby! Buxton onto the concourse! Back to back! 449! Jason Dominguez! That time we timed the cutter up and it got too much plate. Three zip! The slider. Oh, big roll it! Five! Four, three, yes, sir. Uh-oh. Thankfully, that slider hung way up to his eyeballs, and he was aggressive. Three up, three down somehow, after a hit, of course. Marcus Simeon gets us another. You got to stop throwing that straight four seam on the inside half, man. You, you got to stop doing it. That one was 453 from Marcus Simeon. Yikes. Alfonso! We followed that sinker and super barrel. Super barrel! An oppo jack for Alfonso. Man, we are just... This is gonna be fun. Jackie! We take those! Kyle Schwarber is the one guy having no luck here. He lines out the center. Chip! That's gonna be a single. Jackie will score easily. It's six zip. Get in a gap. Get in a gap. We're all over it. We were just late. Ah, he gets there. All right, we get three more. We're now up by six. But again, this guy's good. Definitely uncharacteristic first inning from him. Alfonso goes oppo. He's gotten the mid inning recap highlight a few times already. Let's go. Oh, that fastball was right down the pipe. I'll take a single. He might be contact swinging. Trout lines out to left. Hey, we're catching some breaks here, too. How about that? Oh, come on, Blue. Not only did I hit the black, he swung. And Carlos Correa goes yard. That curveball hung up a little too much. We're still up by four. That's big two runs right there with two outs. Of course, on the one at bat where I'm screwed me first pitch. I tried to get ahead of him. Oh, he hit that ball hard. Though. All right, we'll take that. He had two of his outs that anyway. He hit pretty hard. Escaping with two runs is nice. Let's tack on a few more. Troy Gloss leads us off with a knock. David Ortiz! That ball should have gone to the moon. Is that going to go? Oh! What a play! I need to see it again, dude. That's Chipper Jones in his secondary in left field. Well timed. Beautiful play. Alfonso. Yes, sir! Give me those two runs back. With two outs, he's going to have to score six or more. <laughs> Alfonso again, 432. Is he going to be the mid inning recap homer again? Frank Salvador Perez. I'm using the gold Salvi as my backup catcher just to work on parallel progress. I love his gold in BR. And that'll help. Kyle! There it is. He threw that same pitch he threw David Ortiz. But that one's going to actually, we got more barrel on that one. He hit it too hard, though. We won't score him. Second and third. Chip pulls it through right side. There's another run. We'll keep, we'll keep Kyle at third. I thought I got him there. Curveball now. He was late. One down. Ground ball. He was out in front of that cutter. And that's two down. He's got to score seven runs with one out to work with. Oh, good swing. Alfonso Soriano deep to right center, and that is some tough luck right there. That's some shelfie and battle royale type luck right there. Whew, so we win that one 9-2. We are 2-0 oh so far in a moonshot event. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more, I could do a whole moonshot gameplay video. For, I could record that tomorrow for while I'm in Colorado. If you guys want to see it, hit the thumbs up down below. Let me know. Let me know who you're using in this moonshot event. Let me hear your lineup. Go to the comments down below. I'd love to see them. And if there are any relievers I'm not using that you think are definitely ones that I should look at, for this particular event, definitely let me know. At least we're consistent here with the three three runs per inning. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Don't miss anything.
when I'm out in Colorado with the guys. I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.